Now here's another exam question. We're asked to find the product of 7 and 1 third multiplied by 4 and a half. Now the word product means to multiply. Okay, so whenever you hear that word product, you're multiplying. Now um, here it's a multiple choice question. So they gave us some options and we are, we are to choose the, the best option for the answer. So let's calculate this now. And um, I'm just going to go straight into the calculations. If you're not sure on certain things that I'm doing, I would advise you to check our playlist on calculating fractions and look at how we multiply fractions by using diagrams. If you're not clear, you can, you can capture most of the concepts there. All right. Now, I have here seven and a third and I'm multiplying that by four and a half. Now, really, if you look at this, I have some mixed numbers here. These are called mixed numbers. I'm really multiplying mixed numbers. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to give this a name. You can call it anything. I'm, I'm just going to call it A. You could call it W or P or C. Now, what I'm going to do, if, if you look at this, this is looking ugly. So I'm going to rewrite it so it looks a little bit different. So I've given it a name, I've called it A. So what I'm going to say, I'm going to make a statement and I'm going to say rewrite. I'm just rewriting A, uh, which is the same thing here. Now check this out now. I'm going to use the 3 in the denominator of the fraction here and I'm going to multiply it by my whole number, 7. Yeah, and then I'm going to add the numerator, the 1 in the numerator to the product of the whole number and the three all right so let's look at it i'm going to take the seven and i'm going to say seven times and i'm going to say i'm multiplying that by the three in the denominator let's just put that in a bracket and then i'm going to add the one in my numerator to that okay and all of that i'm going to put it over three all right, then I'm going to multiply that by, and I'm doing the same thing over here. This is how you convert a mixed number to an improper fraction. So I'm saying 2 times 4, so open bracket again, and I'm going to say 4, which is my whole number, times 2, which is in my denominator again, and I'm going to close that, and I'm going to add the numerator to that. Okay, and I'm going to place all of that again over my denominator. Now, quickly, let's just calculate that quickly. I'm going to say 7 threes will give me 21. So that is 21 plus 1. And I'm going to place that all over 3. Okay, and I'm multiplying. I'm going to say 4 twos will give me an 8. And I'm adding a 1 to that. And I'm putting that all over 2. Okay, so let's just simplify that quickly. So I'm saying 21 plus 1 will give me 22 over 3. And I'm multiplying that by 8 plus 1 will give me a 9 over 2. So I can simplify this now. I can say 3 into itself goes once and 3 into 9 goes 3 times. And you, you might be wondering what I'm doing. Remember, I'm multiplying fractions. And if you're multiplying fractions, uh, this is the way you cancel out in this fashion, like an X, or you cancel out vertically, okay, like this. Okay, so you can cancel out vertically like that with fractions. When multiplying fractions, cancel out first or you can cancel out like an X, okay, in that direction, all right? So that's what I did. I used, if you notice, the 3 was at the bottom, and I cancel out with the 9 across at the top, okay? You can make your comparison, and then I'm going to do a similar thing. I'm going to say 2 into itself goes 1 time, and 2 into 22 goes 11 times, okay? So this implies, and the arrows that I'm using, if you notice I'm not using an equal sign, I'm using arrows, which means this implies I have a 11 times 3 will give me a 33. And down the bottom, I'm only left with 1 times 1 is 1. Okay, and remember, any number written over 1 is itself. So our answer really is 33. 
that's our answer all right so when looking back at the options they gave us we could choose 31 33 rather my bad 33 as our answer okay this would be our answer so C would be incorrect B would be incorrect and A would also be incorrect all right feel free to leave a comment or a question if you're not sure and bye bye